is bucking the national trend in mortality rates from both heart disease and stroke. Ours are still dropping, but doctors here are seeing incidents of stroke in patients who are not yet 40 years old. Brianna Venosi reports. Jeremy Chisimore knew something was up after days of a dull headache and a pupil that looked significantly smaller. So I'm eating breakfast and having a cup of coffee and my whole right arm went numb from about the shoulder down or like the elbow down. It only lasted for like three minutes or something, but I'm like, this is bizarre. So, you know, any numbness or anything, I'm not messing around. So I call 911. Stroke symptoms didn't occur to the fit, health conscious, then 30 year old. You said you have a blood clot in your left carotid artery. It's a disease that affects everyone, all genders, races, and age groups. Jeremy's story backs up new research from Rutgers University using New Jersey Department of Health data. It found from 2010 to 2014, stroke rates increased by 147 percent in younger adults, people aged 35 to 39. The data was compared with hospitalizations during the same period from 1995 to 1999. There is a risk factor for active young adults to have um, or even children to have uh, injury-related strokes where the carotid or the back of the brain artery, which we call the vertebral artery, can get injury and can get dissected and not supply the blood flow to the brain. As director of JFK Medical Neurovascular Center, Dr. Jawad Kermani says he's seen patients as young as 12 years old. Nationally, heart disease and stroke death rates are up from 2014 to 2015. Heart disease is still the leading cause of death in the U.S. It increased from 167 to 168.5 deaths per 100,000 people. Stroke is still the fifth cause of death, with national rates increasing from 36.5 to 37.6 six deaths per 100,000 people. The overall death rate is also up 1.2 percent. That's a number that hasn't changed in over a decade. It is uh, very, very important to recognize the signs and symptoms of stroke. They are sudden uh, and uh, they're usually painless and uh, involve either weakness or numbness of uh, one side of the body and uh, usually come along very, very fast. And uh, you can't wait for these symptoms to go away. You have to call 911, and this is part of the education we try to spread around. But New Jersey is bucking that national trend. According to the Department of Health, heart disease death rates remained the same from 2014 to 15, about 166 per 100,000 people. Stroke deaths actually decreased from 31.4 to 31.1. Part of New Jersey's success is attributed to what Dr. Carmani calls a hub and spoke model for stroke care. The smaller hospitals are the feeders or spokes, sending patients to the larger hub healthcare systems, providing that comprehensive care. It does tell me that we are doing something right. What that right is, is sometimes difficult to dissect out until we have larger studies to look at the factors that are different in New Jersey. For Jeremy, he's less concerned about exactly how our state and the hospital are getting it right, but that they did for his life and so many others. In Edison, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.